Hello, Mix and Our Cases and Dog Days of Podcasting listeners. This is Nuke Joss, and this is Dinner in a Movie. And tonight we're going to be finishing up Back to the Future, Back to the Future 2, and Back to the Future 3. Uh, I've watched Back to the Future 2, I can't remember, but sometime between when I watched the first one and tonight, because tonight we threw on Back to the Future 3, and we were only supposed to watch like an hour of it and then go on and do other things. And we just ended up watching the whole darn thing because it's just that good. Now, Back to the Future 2 and 3 have a unique history in the sense that they were filming both at the same time, right after one finished filming um, and they were doing post-production, they started filming Back to the Future 3 right down to, you know, when they're filming those last shots in Back to the Future 3, um, the director is going flying back and forth between filming location and the studio to do all of the um, the sound editing and post-production work. So it was all happening around the same time. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a little tickle in my voice today. I do not like that. Um, but what's neat about that is when you watch it, and you've watched it a few times, you catch up on all of these little foreshadowing things. You know, when they made the first movie, they didn't know that they were going to be doing sequels. When they made the sequels, they knew this was going to be a trilogy, and they planned it out. And you see all of the little foreshadowing. You see the scene from uh, the Clint Eastwood movie in Back to the Future 2, which becomes a very integral part of and the way that he gets out of his situation and back to the future three. Uh, there's all of these little foreshadowings. There's all of these little gags that just keep getting redone and redone and little tiny things like the fact that his bandana in back to the future three is the shirt that he wore made from the shirt that he wore in 1955. Uh, the fact that Needles' gang is made up of different members of the gangs from 1955, uh, the future, 1980, uh, and, and 1885. The fact that Needles is played by Flea, that was something I don't think I realized, or maybe I didn't know who he was at the time, but it's really funny. I'm like, hey, that's Flea. <laughs> It is such a fun series, and I'm just going to continue to say how fun this particular franchise is. And there's a couple of things where you're like, hmm, it's a little dated, but it doesn't get old. Like, that's the beauty of it. That's the charm of it. And everything is pretty darn accurate. Like, there's not a lot of, oh, well, you messed that up because this wasn't actually invented until a couple months later. No, they they have it all pretty accurate. As they're traveling around, you know, except for the future where they thought we were going to have fax machines in every room and um, that, you know, Japan was going to be the big world ruler. And there's a there's a bunch of little things that they got wrong, but that's fine. That is 100 percent fine. Um, that that's an, that's a future that we avoided. Right. That's that's the whole thing. We're not supposed to be seeing those hoverboards because we avoided that future. And I'm not sure that's a good thing either, but that's OK. Uh, I, I love the whole culmination. I think that Back to the Future 3 is probably one of the few times that a franchise just gets better and better. And when you get to that third movie, okay, there's a couple where it's like the second movie was kind of a dip, you know, the whole Star Wars thing. But in this case, I think this is, this is a little different and they're all their own story. It actually has an end in each one. And the third one is actually really good, really good. Um, but it wouldn't be there without the others, without those gags, those running gags. And it's just so campy. And I'm watching this and I know all the lines and I know all the jokes, you know, run for fun. But it's OK because it's still quite good. And that just makes the viewing experience even better um, because it's something it's, it's like visiting an old friend. So Back to the Future 3 and 2. <laughs> and we're going to pair this with um, some dumplings because that's what I made tonight, which has nothing to do with the movies at all. I should be saying like a Frisbee pie or something like that. But no, we're, we're going to pair it with some dumplings. Uh, I went to TNT this weekend and they had frozen dumplings, but they're the kind that you you fry them, like you put them in the pan with some oil and heat that up and then you add water and then you steam them for like 12 minutes and then you take the cover off and you let um you let the bottom fry up and get nice and brown 
I struggle with not burning the bottom. Let me tell you, I got to learn that trick. If anybody knows that trick, not to burn the, not burn the bottom, but get them to not stick to the bottom of the pan while it's doing that. Cause I really don't want the dumpling to get messed up because you don't want to lose all that delicious soup that's on the inside. Um, but they came out pretty good. Um, devise my own motor oil. So motor oil is what, uh, the encaffeinated one calls the, the dipping sauce that you get with dumplings. And so I threw one together tonight and I used my fly by Jing chili oil and it was, it was nice. I liked it. It was a little spicy at first, but once you had the first one, your mouth was already a little tingly and numb. So it just tasted good. Um, cook that up with some rice and, uh, yeah, that was, that was our meal. And, uh, Today has the distinction of only being a nine hour day. So I only worked nine hours today. So yeah, I'm, I'm being good. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye. Nutty Bites is produced by Nimlas Studios under a Creative Commons Attribution No Commercial Non-Derivatives 3.0 International License. That means you can't change it without my permission. You can share it and send it to your friends. Just link back to me, my site, and everything. We live at nimlas.org, which has links to everything social media, including facebook.com slash group slash Nutty Bites and patreon.com slash nukejoss or call 347-Nutty42.